Hi guys, good evening. Hi Jose, hi Kenya, how are you? Hi Alex. Hello. Hi teacher, good evening. Good evening, how are you? Fine, and how are you? Super. Did you, is it raining in nearby your houses right now or is it not raining yet? It's raining yeah. a lot right now. Raining. Okay. It rained here a couple of minutes ago, but it was there was a very strong wind, and then the, then it started to rain. Here okay. it's raining. Where do you guys live? Do you live in San Salvador, or do you live anywhere else? I live in Santa Tecla. Ah, okay, okay. What about you, Kenny? I live in Ciudad. Mm, okay, so it's going towards that side because I live ooh, all the way down to nearby Don Rua. So imagine in this area already rained. Mm -hmm. Xiomara, how are you? Alex, how are you? Good evening. Hi, teacher. Hi, Alex. How are you? How was your day? Uh, bored. <laughs> Boring. Why? Are you working, not working, studying? No, I'm not working. Okay. I just spend my time watching TV. <laughs> watching series on Netflix. Exactly. <laughs> okay. So who has not presented yet? Yamara? Alex, you have not presented, right? Kenya, did you present yesterday? I, re I remember. Yes. Mm -hmm. and, Jose, and Jose presented yesterday, right? Alex, you didn't present yesterday. Are you going to present today? Uh, I'm not ready, but I will try it. Okay. And Xiomara, are you going to be presenting today? Hmm? Hello, Xiomara, are you there? Or Eduardo, Eduardo, hello. Good evening, how are you? Okay, you can start, Alex, if you want. Tell me the topic and I can share an image or a video. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, but in my case, it's not a place specific. Okay, go ahead. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, first of all, I would like to go to, to Paris. Okay. And go to the Torre Eiffel. Eiffel Tower, okay. Next slide. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because everybody say that this is the most romantic city in France. And the Eiffel Tower is the most um, attractive city, uh, attractive site in this city. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, this is one. And the other one, I would like to go to Avellaneda. This is a city in Argentina. Mm, okay. Uh, Avellaneda. How you write it? Avellaneda, like this. Avellaneda. Ah, Avellaneda. Okay. Uh, Why this city? <laughs> in this city, uh, the point of my visit, it will be go to, to see a soccer match between Racing Junior and yeah. whatever other other team because mm -hmm. I'm Racing Junior follower. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ah, this one it would be this is like your stadium, I guess, right? Yes, that is. Mm -hmm. Okay, and this uh, Racing Junior is one of the most popular clubs mm -hmm. in Argentina beside um, Boca Junior and and what is the other River Plate. Okay. And there are another one. Mm -hmm. Any others? Okay. Okay. This is in Argentina. And here in El Salvador I would like to go in, in a specific tradition called Los Farolitos. Mm -hmm. This is in Aguachapan. 
this, this celebration is in September. I don't remember exactly the date. Um, September the 7th. Ah, okay. Oh, well, I know because I wanted to go last year and I couldn't. And I remember uh, it was a 7 and I was like, ah, okay. Uh, uh -huh, it's like on the seventh, huh? Okay. Uh huh. And this is, uh, this is a place in my bucket list to visit mm -hmm. okay. because I would like to go the uh, that several um, what is the uh, lighters, I guess. Uh -huh. So that's all. Super interesting. So guys, ask him questions. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and ask him questions. Like yesterday, indirect questions. Uh -huh. Could you tell me, for example? I have one. Mm -hmm. sure. Can you tell me, Alex, how how expensive it is to travel to Aguachapan? Mm, to be honest, I don't know, but. I think that you can take a bus in the Ruta Las Flores. Mm -hmm. This kind of buses you can take it in in the center. And sometimes it it's cheap. Sometimes it's it's free. Um, but the price. It's at around five dollars, I guess. Last okay. year, last year that I wanted to go, uh, the trips like they would leave at night and come around midnight. The trip, and okay. it was approximately uh, twenty-five dollars per person to go. It was like going to Guatemala, between fifteen and twenty-five. But it would take they would take you to Atapan and then bring you back like around midnight. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. Yeah, the same day. So they would leave, for those of you, it, because I wanted to go after work, so you had, because it was a work day, that's the reason why I couldn't go. So they said that the only way to go was to uh, go on the last tour, which was like around 6 p.m., and then head to Aguachapan, and then uh, like around 12 midnight or 1 a.m., the bus will come back. But I didn't go at the end, I don't remember why, but I couldn't go, and I was like, oh, but I wanted to go. So. If you would take it internal, like on uh, private transportation, that's what it costs. But if you take the bus, I think it's, it's less expensive than taking private transportation, right? Okay. okay, any other question from the audience? No? No other questions? <laughs> okay. Thank you, Alex. It was a good presentation. I was expecting one and you presented three different places. That's good. Awesome. Great job. Okay. Thank you. Eduardo, did you present yesterday? Andrea, did you present yesterday? Who's Hello, everyone. No. Uh, my favorite, uh, well, my lugar favorite is Petén. Mm -hmm. Favorite place to go is? Uh, Petén in Guatemala. Petén, Guatemala, okay. Uh -huh. Tell me about it. Uh, I would like uh, to visit uh, the ring, rings in of the Mayan. Mm -hmm. uh, and the there more. Mm -hmm and learn more about the culture. Uh, I have seen many documentaries uh, about this place. Uh, this culture is very interesting. Uh, I am industrial designer and so... These are the so these are the Tikal ones, right? In Petén. They're called Tikal. Yes. Ah, okay, okay. Yes, yes. Uh, I am an industrial designer. Mm -hmm. And some of the, my project, 
borrowed from the University of Hamilton had been inspired by the by the that is why I want to I want to more now more uh, I had I not had the opportunity to go about the country uh, but we doubt uh, I doubt this will be the first place this uh, that I want to visit and learn Machu Picchu. Ah, that's yes. another one, the Machu Picchu. Uh, no, the the de hecho todas las culturas indígenas me llaman la atención. Indigenous uh, cultures. Ah, okay, okay. Uh -huh. Yes. Super. Yeah, only. It's all. Nice. So, have you been to Tikal? Have you been to Petén before or no? Have you been? Have you visited? This I place? know. Or not yet? No. Mm -hmm. Not yet. Aún no. Okay, aún no. Not yet. Okay. Super. Guys, have you ever been to these ruins before? Not yet. Not yet? Okay. No, only. They look very beautiful. <laughs> only to the, the ones we have here, like in Chalchuapa. And <laughs> okay, yeah, me too. But they look very Not spectacular, right? Mm -hmm. Looks great. Super. Thank you so much for sharing. Andrea, are you ready? Hi. Hello. Are you ready to present? Mm, I did in my homework. But it's okay. Mm -hmm. I can say something. Okay. Where would you like to go? What country or what city or what place? Hmm? I go, I, I like to go like to mm -hmm. Guatemala. Okay. Let's find out. Okay. Tell me about it. What's what's up with Panajachel in Guatemala? I love to travel Guatemala because there are many places beautiful mm -hmm. and I like your place. Uh, their places? Uh, I like their places. Okay. Mm. What do you say, Lago? Lake? Mm -hmm. uh, lake. I I like this lake because it is big. Um, I practice. We practice. I was I was practice para pente. Ah, para plante. In here. this in this lake. Ah, you practice para plante. Okay. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Um I love your food because it's cheaper. And the lake at the, it's called Atitlan, right? The lake. Yes, I did. So this is a lake and and it's para plant. This is para planta, right? This. Mm, yes. Not this one, but throwing yourself like this. It's a, like a small vehicle, right? Let me see if I see a picture here on the video. I was ex I was experienced. That's experience. That's para plante, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, that is. Tell us about that experience. Did you like it? I like this experience because it's amazing. You can see 
paisaje? Landscapes. Landscape, you can uh -huh. see landscape. Um, adrenalina. The adre adrenaline. Uh -huh. uh, uh -huh. You can feel adrenaline. Oh, super. This seems very interesting. Could you tell me how much it is to fly <laughs> paraplente in Guatemala? How much is it? Yes. Paraplente. I was paid. I was paid. I paid? I paid? Solo uh, I paid. I pay. I pay. Twenty. No. Ochenta. Eighty. Eighty. Eighty quetzales or eighty dollars. Eighty dollars. Okay. Eighty dollars to do para plante. Wow. For how long? One hour? Two hours? Or how long do you do para plante? Thirty. Thirty. Thirty minutes. 30 minutes, uh -huh. Interesting, wow. What do you guys think about paraplanting? Mm -hmm. Do you think you would do it? Looks dangerous uh, yeah, and expensive. Expensive? <laughs> no, it's like, wow, a lot of adrenaline, right? Like, oh, $80 for heights. about 30 minutes. Uh, $80 30 minutes. for 30 minutes, yeah. It's expensive to me. It is. It is expensive for everybody. And look well, like uh, it looks dangerous. No, it's not dangerous. Mm, really? It's interesting, but dangerous. Really? I don't like water sports and air sports. <laughs> I um, I love sports, extreme. Extreme sports, mm -hmm. like bungee jumping and skydiving and that type of, of extreme yeah. sports. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for sharing, Andre. Okay, super. Okay. Okay. Well, I think we're done with the presentations and um, we're going to get started with another topic today. What, according to what we have seen, what do you think it's our next topic? What do you guys think? It's our next topic for today. Based on the platform. Mm -hmm. evaluation, evaluation with adjective and noun. Thank you. So, uh -huh. You build up your English language skills with lessons on adjectives and nouns. By the end of this class, you will learn how to express your opinion about houses and apartments. So we're going to start talking a little bit about your house or your apartment. Additionally, you will be able to describe your house or apartment in English. Okay, so start imagining. Okay, and use e evaluating phrases such as apartments are too small for pets or houses are too expensive. For example, houses are too expensive in Santa Tecla, or apartments are too small in uh, Sudarse, right? And so on. So try, try to think where you live and relate it to the topic that we're going to start going over today. So let's watch this small video and start thinking because you're going to tell me and describe a little bit your house or the place where you live, okay? Let's get ready. And here we go. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you will be able to give your Can you listen to the video? Yes, teacher. Okay, super. Opinion about yes, houses and apartments. Additionally, you will be able to evaluate your own house and apartment. For example, you'll be able to make the following statements. Apartments are too small for pets but houses are too expensive. Houses cost too much money. Before I talk about the grammar involved in this particular class, what I would like to do now is I would like to play an audio program which illustrates how this topic is used. We will listen to a few people talk about their opinions on houses and apartments. Your task is to listen carefully and answer a couple of questions that I'll have for you at the end of the audio program. Apartments are too small for pets. Apartments aren't big enough for families. Apartments don't have enough parking spaces. Apartments have just as many expenses as houses. Apartments don't have as many rooms as houses. Houses aren't as safe as apartments. Houses aren't as convenient as apartments. 
Houses cost too much money. Houses don't have enough closet space. Houses don't have as much privacy as apartments. Let me present some structure now. The first thing that I would like to do is to show you how to make evaluations using adjectives. And particularly, we're going to learn how to use the words enough and to. After that, we're going to make evaluations, but this time we're going to use nouns. And at the same time, we're also going to use the words enough and also to. First of all, what are adjectives? Well, adjectives are those words that describe nouns. So they describe people, places, or things. Since we're talking about evaluating houses and apartments, what we want to do is we want to think about some of those adjectives that we might use to evaluate a house or an apartment. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write a lot of those words here. And then what I would like for you to do is to uh, memorize this and uh, maybe study them if you're not familiar with them. So for example, we have the adjectives comfortable, convenient, dangerous, dark, bright, expensive, huge, small, inconvenient, modern, noisy, private, quiet, safe, small, spacious. And I'm pretty sure you can think of many more. Let me present some structure at this time on how to make sense of this evaluation that you see there towards the left. Apartments aren't big enough for families. So in order for us to make that particular evaluation, we can think of the following structure. So let me go ahead and write that now. Following this structure, we can see that we're going to have a subject. So in this case, we have apartments. This is followed by the verb to be. In this case, it happens to be in its negative form. Okay. And then, and then this is going to be followed by the adjective. So in this case, the adjective is big. Then this is going to be followed by enough. And then um, we're going to have some sort of complement here. So in this case, it happens to be families, right? So if we look at the pattern, we have a subject. I'm going to go ahead and follow the colors so that we can see what's happening there. That's in black. There we go. So we can see that the subject is apartments. Then this is followed by the verb to be. In this case, it happens to be the verb to be in its negative form. After that, we're going to have some sort of adjective. And then it's going to follow the word enough. And then we're going to include um, some sort of complement, if you will. So if we think about other evaluations that we can say about apartments, either apartments or homes, then we can say the following. I'm going to go ahead and copy this because the next evaluation is going to be quite similar. So we can say the following. Apartments aren't, and so I'm going to change the adjective here. So I'm going to say aren't spacious enough for families, OK? And let's do one more. Uh, we can also say that apartments aren't, and I'm going to change the adjective now. I'm going to say apartments aren't comfortable enough for families. I'm going to stop there, and I want you to come up with your own examples, OK? For example, in my case, I would say apartments aren't comfortable enough for children. Okay, not for families, but maybe for children. Give me an example, or I want you to come up with an example using enough, big enough, an adjective plus enough, and are not, of course. Apartments are not an adjective, enough, and then they're complement. Give me an example, please, guys. Make up your own example. Who wants to start? Apartments aren't enough comfortable for comfortable for, for families. Okay, but that's one that we have there. Give me another one, like in your own opinion. Yeah. Based on what you have seen or based on apartments that you have seen. Apartments aren't enough cheaper. Uh, apartments aren't enough cheaper of or... cheap enough well 
cheap is not like a very good word to use in English, maybe affordable. Okay. Like this, um, let me write down here. Apartment are very expensive for me. Mm -hmm. Excellent, apart, wait, apartments are, mm -hmm. are not affordable instead of cheap for Salvadorans or for people in El Salvador, for Salvadorans, for example. This could be a good example. Mm -hmm. The other one was, the other one that you said, I'm sorry, apartments. Samuel, you said something. Or Eduardo, you said something, right? Apartments are very expensive for me. Okay, are very expensive for me, okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Very good. Okay. Another example? If we're using enough, then we say apartments are not afford are apartments are not affordable enough for Salvadorians. Apartments are not well in this case are expensive. Can we say expensive enough? What do you guys think? Or no? We use enough just with negative um, situations, okay? Apartments are not affordable enough, for example. But apartments are very expensive. We cannot say are very expensive enough or very expensive, in, very expensive enough. We cannot say it that way. What would be the opposite to use enough? It would be apartments are not enough, are not um, enough affordable, are not safe, affordable, yeah, but it's the same one, affordable, I was trying to change affordable, are not cheap enough, I'm going to use cheap even though cheap is not a good word to use, are not cheap enough, for example, uh-huh for me, okay? So it's the opposite, mm -hmm. are not cheap enough, okay? The next thing that I would like to do is to make sense of that second evaluation that you see there at the bottom. Now using the word to. And so what I want you to notice is the following, that we're just gonna have different ways of evaluating things. And so there isn't just one way to do it. There are many different ways. So in this case, we're going to use this expression. And I want you to notice what's going to change. So I want you to think about what is the opposite of big? Well, the opposite of big, we can, we can think of that as being small, right? So in this case, I want you to notice what, what's going to change. So in this case, I'm going to say apartments are and what I'm going to do is I'm going to include two small. So the only thing that changes is that I'm no longer using the bird to be in its negative form, but now I'm using it in its positive form. And then I'm including two plus the adjective small, and I'm saying for families. So what I want you to notice is that these two sentences, these two evaluations are the same thing. The only thing is that I'm expressing them in different ways. The next thing that I would like to do now is to show you how to make evaluations. But now we're going to talk about making evaluations using nouns. And a couple of things will change. And so let me present the formula at this time and I'm going to show you what kind of things will change. Well, first of all, um, similar to making evaluations with adjectives, we're going to have a subject. So in this case, we're going to say apartments. Okay, That's going to follow a verb. In this case, it's no longer the verb to be. So that's the first thing that changes. We're no longer using the verb to be. So in this case, we're using any other kind of verb. In this case, it happens to be that that's on a negative. So we, we're going to say don't have. That uh, the verb is on its negative form. 
and then this follows enough so opposite from adjectives where we would include the adjective first when we make evaluations using nouns we no longer use the adjective first we're going to include enough and then we're going to include the noun so let me give an example here don't have enough and then uh, whatever um, noun that we want to include so in this case don't have enough parking spaces okay uh, so the noun is parking spaces and then you can think of a complement if you will so you can include something else there so for example uh, what could that be don't have enough parking spaces for people right that could be the complement but in this case the noun is parking spaces and quickly I want to talk about nouns so what are nouns what are some of the nouns that we can think about when we are um, you know thinking about making evaluations of apartments and houses well uh, we can think of things like parking spaces as you can see there we can think of things like closet space right we can think of things like privacy and of course we can think of things like money if you will right so this kind of things are nouns that we can think of so we can say the following apartments don't have enough parking spaces apartments don't have enough closet space apartments don't have enough privacy and the last example that I would like to make is how to use to so in this case what I'm going to do is I'm going to say well this I'm going to take that example there houses this follows the verse so that continues to be the same we are no longer going to include the word enough so in this case we're going to use too much money right houses cost too much money so if we can think of this I'm going to follow the pattern there houses cost that follows the verb and then in this case I want you to notice what happened so we include too much money the last thing that I would like for you to do now is to evaluate your house or apartment depends on where you live right and I want you to evaluate your house or apartment using adjectives such as the ones that are here and of course following the formula that I presented to you earlier today and I also want you to evaluate your house or apartment using nouns so uh, once again using the formula that I'm I'm going to stop there because that's the activity for it right now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pair you up okay and I want you to come with adjectives, okay, describing your house, okay? That way we can start making sentences. First, you come up with a list of adjectives that go along with your house. Then once you have those adjectives, okay, then you start creating your own examples, okay? For example, um, houses are big enough for a five here or for three in a family or for six in a family, okay? You start coming up with adjectives that describe houses are spacious, houses are comfortable, houses are modern, are old, antique, uh, houses are reliable, okay? So start looking for an adjective that describe and try to make two or three examples with your partner, okay? So that's what we're gonna start doing right now. So come up with a list of adjectives, simple adjectives. I will share a couple right now while you're working with your partner, okay? I'll give you a couple of minutes before we do the exercise for the knowledge check. Okay, so accept the invitation, please. There you go.
Can you repeat? Yes. Do you want to start or? Yeah. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Um, it's a example or uh -huh. uh, activity three just, point. Just, just come and use in the adjectives <laughs> uh, like the lesson. I sent okay. you a list. I'm sorry, I interrupt. I sent you guys a list to WhatsApp. That way you guys can see a couple of examples to describe houses, okay? Hey, teacher. Thank you. I'm checking right now. I'm sending you like image. Mm -hmm. okay. I will send you another one. Just only describe all houses. Exactly. I'm just sending you a couple, uh huh? Using one or two or three words and to make sentences like the explanation on the grammar explanation, whether using two or enough. Okay. <laughs> My house are too small. Mm. Sorry, sorry. I'm sending information to WhatsApp, that way you have more. Are too small for my family? My house, okay. My house is too small for my family, okay. Are is plural, is is singular for third persons. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. No, oh, it's okay. Okay, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna describe my house. My house is enough quiet because my family loves quiet and also is comfortable the color is yellow fish and it's beautiful it's a beautiful house and also have a no space for if you um, use if you use color if you use yellow you don't have to say color okay when you okay. talk about colors you don't have if you say yellow that's yellow and you don't have to say yellow color okay, okay. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a great it's a great house it's beautiful and it's not a big house, but it's comfortable. And it's spacious. And spacious? It's quiet. It's quiet. I love quiet. Mm -hmm. And that's it. My house is too clean <laughs> because my mother, like, um, um, I'm sorry. Clean the always, house. Always cleaning. <laughs> He's yeah. a hard worker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and another, another day, and me. <laughs> okay. And me to do. Yes. Um, guys, I sent you uh, two lists. I, well, I sent you two lists to WhatsApp. That way you guys can check it out with some adjectives, some adjectives that can help you describe your house better or apartment, okay? Okay. Can you explain me, please? Sure. I sent you a list in WhatsApp, one or two lists um. with adjectives. That way you can have more vocabulary to make your sentences or your examples. Mm -hmm. Okay. When you're finished with your examples, I want you to work with exercise on the platform, exercise 3.2, please, okay? Okay. 3.2 in the platform, mm -hmm. please, okay. Can you see your WhatsApp? Yes, I can. Yeah, cool. Have you ever played Mario Bros? Yeah. And we only have 64. <laughs> and we have an, another space for the third class. Oh. When you finish, guys, I want you to work on the exercise on the platform 3.2, okay? Okay. 3.2. Okay, teacher. Okay, super. 3.2. Now let's check. Let me see. According to the ADO on section 3.1, apartments. 
Are you there, Masi? Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I don't remember check. that <laughs> in the video. <laughs> okay, I don't remember. In... <laughs> Actually, you... I had finished. Oh. Ah. Yeah. And one. If you wanted to complete. Um. Yes, for now because <laughs> it's a trampa. I have to solo. Solo lo formación la vamos a escribir así la oración. Yo digo que la vamos a escribir. Aha, yes. That way you practice. You have to write them. If not, how are you going to practice? How are you going to learn? You need to practice. Mm -hmm. Teach it. <laughs> give, give the adjectives in the chat to me. Ah, to give you? I'm sorry, here? Mm -hmm. What do you need on the chat? And because my my cell is off. Ah, okay. So, ah, but I cannot send you the images. Here I cannot send you the images. Um, I don't know why. Let me okay. see. Let me try to download them so I can send them here, okay? Okay. <clears throat> Let me find out if I can send. You want the pictures, right? Okay. You need the pictures that I sent on WhatsApp for me to send them here on Zoom, right? Mm hmm Okay. Let me see if I can paste it here. Um, no, I would have to download it. <clears throat> okay. Teacher? Yes? How many sentences we want to do? Two or three, just for you to practice. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's like two or three, that's fine. Ah, uh, teacher, and we had a doubt. Uh, tell me, what's your doubt? Uh, we, we don't understand when, when we want to use R and is. Mm -hmm. I suppose that is is for singular, right? Mm -hmm. And, and are? R for plural. Yes, is is always for, uh, and am is for the first person. So you always would do the I am, for example, I am, you are, he is, she is, um, they are, we are. So it's, but this is just the verb be. Solo es ser o estar. No es, un, no es para verbos activos. So it's not for active verbs. So <laughs> right? This is just to say, uh, I am happy. I am sad. I am, I am comfortable. So for passive verbs. But el verbo por eso se llama ser o estar. It's just for verbs that indicate being. Okay? Not active verbs. When you use active verbs, then you don't use am, is, or are. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. You use uh, the subject más el verbo directamente, okay? For example, I cook, or I run, or she cooks. Ahora bien, para las terceras personas, she, he, or it, el verbo siempre va a ir con ese. Pero solo cuando ya no lleva el verbo, ya cuando ya no deja de ser cero estar. Okay, for example, she <laughs> cooks. Ajá, sí, eso sí. Mm -hmm. Pero sería, en, por ejemplo, en este, en este ejercicio, puede mm -hmm. decir... Apartments are. Es Porque y estamos hablando en general, en general de ellos, in general, mm -hmm, because we're talking so, about them in general. So, one apartment is, is, ¿verdad? Exactly. An apartment is, apartments are. Mm -hmm. Houses uh, are, my house is. Porque se vuelve, uh, si pasamos my house, se vuelve tercera persona. It becomes it. It is. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Or, houses are. 
porque ah, decimos sí, sí. they are. Ajá. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Same for apartment. My apartment is, it is. Or apartments are, they are. Uh -huh. mm, so okay. you use it for things too. Uh -huh. You use they for things too. Uh -huh. Super. Oh. Okay, I'll be back with you in a bit. Let me check the other group. Mm. Now I live in Rosario La Paz. Uh, okay. It's near for Zacate Coluca. I know that Zacate Coluca. And you? I used to have travel to the hospital. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I, I live in Santa Tecla. Ah. Oh. It's interesting. In 2005, I used to travel very often to the hospital. And actually, I have a friend who lives in Santa Ah. Oh. Why did you travel so often to Zacatecoluca? Tell us. Um, in, in other works. Ah, because you had a job. Yeah. What was your in, job? Uh, what? What is your job or what was your job? Actually, I work in electricity, mm -hmm. uh, like an engineer. Okay. In 2005, I was I was working in chemical in chemical or chemical industries. Chemical, uh -huh. chemical industries. Yeah, I, okay. uh, I was a salesman. Mm, okay, interesting. Are you still working with electricity or not anymore? No, actually, I I work in electricity. Okay. Today I was working. <laughs> it's a great job. Uh, I love it. If you work, work, who do you work with, guys? Lesa, Lesa, Lesa. No, by myself. Ah, okay. Interesting. So we can hire you whenever we need a special connection. When you need a uh, electric. <laughs> As you want it. All I the can help you. All the connections in my house is so old that all the connections are external. Oh. They don't go inside the wall, they go on top of the wall. Oh, I know. Okay. Masi! Why do you call yourself Masi o Pico? I have always had that question. Why Masi o Pico? Because you are from Opico. No, no. Oh, okay. But my name is Masiel. Mm -hmm. And my last name, Opico. <laughs> but ah, not oh. live in a pico. <laughs> ah, okay, okay, interesting. It's okay. Uh, contradiction. <laughs> okay, super. Did you finish the exercise, guys? Yeah. Yeah. yeah we have finished. Sure. Okay, let's go. I'm I'm gonna see you back in the main screen. Okay. See you in a okay. bit. Okay, guys, so let's go over the answers for the, or let's just wait for the girls. Where, where are the girls? They left? Maybe they left. They got disconnected. The other group. Okay, let's go over the answers together, okay? Just to check them. Um, the first one, according to the audio on section 3.1, apartments are too small for pets. Do you have that as an answer? Are too small for pets? Yeah, are too small for pets. Okay, super. Then we have, which is correct. Apartments isn't comfortable? No. Apartments are. It's always going to be, if it's pluralized, it's are. If it's third person, it, it's going to be is. Okay? So apartments are, are not comfortable enough for families. That's the correct one. Then we have, which is correct out of three, apartments do not have enough privacy. Okay? <clears throat> Number four, which is correct. Apartments do not have enough space, right? Okay, do you have those answers? If you do, you yeah. scored. Okay, super. Now, for tomorrow, and this is like, I want you to do it for homework, but do it that way you can practice. 
with the exercise you were doing today, write down two or three examples. Three with uh, apartments and three with houses. Try to use your house or your apartment as an example to write and use and apply what you learned today with the lesson, okay? So try to do it, send it to me on WhatsApp so I can go over just the structure of it and then you, I have a better visibility if you are understanding the topic or not, okay? That's just gonna be for tomorrow, okay guys? Okay. Okay. I don't know okay. if you guys have any questions so far, okay. no? no? Okay, clear. super. Thank you so much for always joining in. You're always on time. I do appreciate that, okay? Um, I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow's our last class for the week and then we retake it on Monday. So see you tomorrow, guys. Good night, okay. rest. Good night, everyone. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. See you tomorrow, good night. See you tomorrow, Rito. Bye, guys.